Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another ApeCoin price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the ApeCoin chart and before I start the video make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to start the video here on the 4 hour chart by first giving you a recap of what has been happening and whatever I'm expecting to play out here on the short term scenarios and allow me to start the video by giving you a brief where you can see that ApeCoin from these low prices that we had been trading within which is the bear market low at around the 2.5976 dollar mark we started a very nice bounce to the upside in a move that has been obeying the edge of structures where we can have that first wave to the upside then a wave 2 a wave 3 then a wave 4 and then a wave 5 making its peak at around the 4.6 dollar mark and completing the formation of that higher edge of count 1 to the upside and after seeing the formation of a higher edge of count 1 whatever we expect next is the formation of a higher edge wave count 2 which is a corrective wave and because of its corrective nature we also expected to see an ABC corrective structure having the wave C fully maximizing the formation of that higher edge wave count 2 and you can see we retraced into this target area that I had here on the charts using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 giving me a minimum retracement area to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 between the Fib level 0 0.5 and the Fib level 0 0.618 which is the target area area that we fully maximized and after fully maximizing the formation of that higher edge wave count 2 whatever we expect next is another bounce to the upside in the formation of a higher edge wave count 3 and I believe that is what is playing out here on the long term scenarios on the ApeCoin chart and by first sketching out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 at the FIB level 1.618 which perfectly lies at around the $6.4688 mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting this higher edge of wave count 3 to the upside to do and that is my long term scenario and getting to the short term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out within the formation of that wave 3 we also expect to see fractal waves in formation within that wave 3 having that as the first wave then a wave 2, a wave 3, a wave 4 then continue pushing even higher in the formation of that with 5 which should fully maximize that target area to the upside in the formation of that higher edge wave count 3 to the upside and getting a little bit into the details of this fractal wave that we are seeing in the formation of this higher edge wave count 3 where I believe we have seen the wave 1 then a wave 2 and right now we're in the formation of this wave 3 which we might have seen its peak and whatever we are seeing at the moment might be a bit of a retracement to the lower side in the formation of this wave 4 before we continue pushing even higher in the formation of that wave 5 and getting to see whether this wave 3 has done the minimum that we expect a wave 3 to do by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside at the FIB level 1.618 which perfectly lies at around the $5.42 dollar mark and that means this wave 3 has done the minimum that we expected it to do and it has made its peak at around the $5.42 five eight dollar mark and whatever we are seeing at the moment might be the start of that corrective structure in the formation of this wave 4 that I'm expecting to play out on the short term scenarios and sketching out a minimum retracement area to the lower side in the formation of this wave 4 by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the second wave to the high of that wave 3 that gives me a minimum retracement area between the Fib level 0 0.5 and the Fib level 0 0.618 and I can mark that target area here on the charts like that which lies between between the $4.74 mark and the $4.5 four six nine dollar market and that is the minimum that I'm expecting that corrective structure in the formation of this wave four to do before we continue pushing even higher in the formation of that wave five and because that wave four is a corrective wave I'm also expecting to see an ABC corrective structure play out having the wave C fully maximizing the formation of that wave four to the lower side so that is what I'm expecting on the short term and the long term scenarios here on the ApeCoin chart and also taking a look at the indicators to see what movements will be supported on the RSI we are trading at around the 53 mark meaning we have massive room for us to support any movements to the lower side in the formation of this wave 4 and also taking a look at the MACD we have printed a bearish cross 
and we are also seeing an increase in the selling momentum and that fully supports the formation of this way forward to the lower side and once we fully maximize our target area then we can expect another bounce to the upside in the formation of that way five taking us back to around the 6.45 dollar mark so just be patient and see how that plays out and i'll keep you updated